Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. In an advance backed by U.S.-led airstrikes, Syrian Kurdish-led forces said they have captured the town Tal Abyad from ISIS. The YPG's seizure of the town means they effectively control some 400 kilometers of the Syrian-Turkish border. The advance has brought the YPG deep into the ISIS stronghold of the Raqqa province. The Iranian-backed Houthi delegation that had been expected to join UN-sponsored talks in Geneva missed the June 15 pre-talks after they were stranded at Djibouti airport without clearance to take off. Zif al-Shami, the leader of the delegation, said Egypt, which is part of the anti-Houthi Arab coalition, blocked the plane's journey, an accusation that Egyptians denied. The delegation is expected to attend June 16's talks. The Houthis are to meet with representatives from Yemen's exiled government, former President Ali Abdullah Saleh, and other opposition groups to find an end to the two months conflict that killed over 2,000 people. The Moro Islamic Liberal Front separatist group has plans to forfeit a first batch of weapons to the Philippine government. This is part of a peace deal between the Philippine government and MILF signed in 2012. 145 members of Bangasamora Islamic Front, MILF's armed faction, will be provided $555 cash each for living expenses, education and training as they prepare to re-enter mainstream society. The family of Rachel Dolezal, head of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People chapter in Spokane, Washington, has revealed she has been falsely living as a black person and is in fact white. Dolezal has resigned from her position but has not addressed the allegations. She issued a statement on the NAACP chapter's Facebook page stating she would continue to fight for human rights. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com is Stumble.